One thing I realized is that I'm constantly in competition with myself just to see if I can make something better than I did the previous time. Like even if it was really good the last time, I'm constantly switching things up, trying new things just to see, you know, if something else works better or if I like something better. And with that, it allows me to keep things fresh. It allows me to not make the same thing over and over. So today we're making a simple chicken enchilada with a homemade red sauce. And I paired that with some delicious black beans and a cilantro lime rice. So let's get into this, you guys. Enchiladas are such a blank canvas. I love them. You can spice them up in any way. You can add peppers, pasilla peppers, poblano peppers, these mini peppers like I just did. I used chicken breasts in this recipe. I pounded them out first, I seasoned them, and then I pan seared them in this skillet. So about four minutes per side, medium, medium high. Once you remove those, you wanna let those rest for a little bit. So in that same skillet, I went ahead and added my peppers and my onions, you guys. This is a low and slow saute process. It took about eight to 10 minutes until I achieved that caramelization that I was looking for. Um, it's super important, like I said, to allow your chicken or whatever you're using, whatever kind of meat you're using to rest prior to you slicing it, you guys. This is how you maintain that juiciness. Next, we're moving on to this enchilada sauce, you guys. I'll have all of the ingredients, the instructions listed down below for you. Now, this right here took the cake. This right here made the dish, I'm not gonna lie, between the juicy chicken and the simple peppers, mixing that all together, and then this red sauce, it just married and came together so well. So obviously with this process here, it's gonna take about two minutes to fully get everything mixed in. Um, before you add this broth, you wanna make sure all of your ingredients are fully whisked in together. Slowly add that um, chicken broth, just so you can loosen it up. Make sure you get all of those clumps and everything. This part was so gratifying. I don't know what it is. Just thinking about how like back in the day when I first started learning how to cook, I would be buying all these jarred sauces, spaghetti sauce, enchilada sauce, this and that and the other. And here I am now, maybe 10 or 15 years later, making my own sauces, you guys. There's something so gratifying about that. Like I'm a self-taught cook. I'm not a chef. I'm not certified, but I am very proud of the work that I do. When I make things from scratch, I take pride in that. And I think that if you have time, if time allows, you should try it too, because there's something about just putting all this stuff together that is handmade. It just makes everything taste so much better. With the shells, you guys, it's so important to make sure you toast your shells first, obviously, or else they will break and they will tear. So I dipped mines in the sauce prior to, just to give it that extra something something i'm coating the uh, enchiladas with the sauce i'm gonna add a little bit of cheese and then i'm gonna go ahead and bake these so i was able to make about two trays of the enchiladas with the two chicken breasts and um, that mixture that i had there in that bowl quickly i just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content make sure you check out any shorts videos that i uploaded i do upload multiple times throughout the week frequently so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss so next we're moving on to the cilantro lime rice you guys this came out really really good it was super simple i just added in some onions um, a little garlic and then you want to rinse your rice first it's so important if you're using long grain or whatever kind of rice you're using, rinse the rice or else the starches will cause it to stick together later. We don't want clumpy rice, like we want single grain. So you wanna rinse your rice first and then we're gonna go ahead and toast that on a medium to low setting until you get these like little brown crispies in there. I went ahead and added in my cilantro, you guys. And then I did 
some broth i squeezed in a little lemon i brought that up to a boil and then i let it simmer for about 25 minutes so with that we have an honest meal right here i forgot to show the black beans but i am going to link the video at the top you guys beans are so easy i make them in the pressure cooker they're done in an hour and a half if you're not making your beans in the pressure cooker i don't know what you're doing but anywho thanks so much for watching i truly appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course, I'll see you next time.